on behalf of the graduating class, I am pleased to introduce Julie Volk, who will speak on behalf of the associate degree candidates. Julie is a sport fitness studies major, concentrating in athletic training. Julie is captain of the women's soccer and lacrosse teams, and has served as vice president of the student athlete leadership team. Her contributions on and off the field have been recognized by numerous awards. And Julie's future goal is earning a baccalaureate degree in athletic training and then a doctoral degree. One day, she plans to open a rehabilitation center. Gives me great pleasure to introduce Julie Ann Fernandez Volk. Good morning. I'm graduating today with an associate's degree in athletic training. It's crazy that I'm standing here in front of all of you today when it seems like just yesterday we're all playing name games at orientation. Where did the time go? We've had two years here at Dean, some of us four, and I bet we would all agree that our time here has gone by in the blink of an eye. Inspirational writer Michael Alshler was right when he said, the bad news is time flies. The good news is, you're the pilot. Dean was the first college experience for many of us. For some of us, it was the first time away from our well-meaning but protective parents. Maybe it was our first time sharing a room with someone. And maybe, for some of us, it was even our first time doing laundry on our own, which hopefully, hopefully we've all mastered by now. <laughs> but I'm sure I can speak for each and every one of us when I say that Dean College has truly changed and shaped our lives in one way or another. As freshmen, we learned very quickly how small Dean truly is. We got to know everyone on campus in just the first few weeks, both faculty and staff, as well as our classmates. We made friendships in the classroom, at the dining hall, at Boomers, and before we knew it, we were surrounded by familiar faces that soon became our second family. As athletes, we also got the hang of things pretty quickly. Realizing that everyone knows and talks with everyone, just the thought of skipping class made us cringe. There was no way coach wouldn't find out, and trust me, you didn't want to get that angry text. As students, being on a small campus worked to our benefit as we found ourselves able to rely on each other for anything we needed. Whether needing to borrow a textbook, a shoulder to cry on, or to be dragged out of bed to make it to class on time, help was always just around the corner. Overall, being a small school on campus allowed us to create a sense of family and community here at Dean that many other colleges just cannot offer. We can all look around here today and say that we have made lifelong friends. We've been fortunate enough to have met some amazing people that have impacted and touched our lives, friends, faculty, staff, coaches, even public safety. <laughs> I can honestly say that I will never forget the friends that I've made here at Dean. These friendships and bonds that we have created with those around us have already changed us and left their marks in our lives, even with those individuals that are no longer with us. Rest in peace, Malcolm. Not only do we share these bonds with our peers, but we can all say that we have found comfort and created strong relationships with our faculty and staff as well. At Dean, we are fortunate enough to have an amazing faculty that knows us by name, not just as another number in a classroom. We are lucky to have a faculty that cares, that truly works with you to ensure your success, and that teaches us beyond the boundaries of academics to make sure that we are prepared for the real world. Our professors got to know us on a personal level. They know our learning styles, understand our schedules, and are willing to work with us to help us be our best. Many of us took this for granted, so I encourage everyone to think about someone at Dean who has made a difference in preparing you for the future. Whether it be a friend, a faculty, or a staff member, 
Take a moment after the ceremony and say thank you, because the real world starts now. Whether or not Dean College is a stepping stone to another institution, or if it is the finish line in your academic career, we leave a community that has held our hand, taught, and guided us towards what comes next. That's the motto here at Dean, prepare for what's next. And it has proven to be true beyond just the world of academics. I can personally say, and I'm sure that many of you would agree, that Dean allowed us to find comfort in our own skin and develop a sense of individuality and personal growth that we hadn't yet experienced. We learned and improved skills that are crucial in order to succeed in the future. These skills include organization, time management, and mastering our personal work methods. And as we worked hard academically to prepare for our future, we also created unforgettable memories with the people around us that have in their own way shaped and affected our lives. We've made memories while attending football games, schools, school dances, or just by sitting around waiting for dominoes at 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> you will remember funny conversations and silly moments you've had with your friends. Or maybe there was a moment where someone lent a hand and gave you that extra push that you needed as a quick reminder of your true potential. Not only has Dean provided us with amazing experiences and memories, but we, as Bulldogs, can proudly say that we have also left our paw prints on this campus. We were part of the first class of students to ever live in Horn Hall. I am proud to say that I was one of the captains of the women's soccer team that held the first winning record since 1998. Beleza, Coltrane. We watched as the football team became conference champions in 2011 and also took home the title of the 2011 Valley of the Sun Bowl winners. I was lucky to be the first ever Vice President of SALT, or Student Athlete Leadership Team, which was also created this year. And I also think that I'm part of a new trend as the second female lacrosse player to speak in two years for the graduating associate degree. I got you, Coach Bev. The memories that we've collected during our time here at Dean, as well as the marks we leave on this campus, will stick with us forever. And small moments that sometimes didn't seem so significant will eventually prove their impact upon our lives. Because that's what life is about. Stringing together all the little things in order to put together a bigger masterpiece. And as we each move on to whatever life has planned for us next, I leave you with that advice. Enjoy and appreciate each moment and experience you come across, and never take time for granted. Smile more, laugh louder, and have a blast. Remember that life is a never-ending process, that learning is a never-ending process in life, and as long as we can learn and apply it to become better people each day, there are no limits to what we can accomplish. Time will always fly, and that won't change. The good news is that some people, including us today, have worked hard enough and long enough to earn our wings. Congrats, Bulldogs, we made it. <laughs>